cancel. Sweezy. Ah, uh, anyways, though, life is life is too good. Happy 69th episode, everyone. Um, okay. Should you accept hair loss or get a hair transplant? I've actually, this is a really good thought because, uh, there's so many guys out there, you know, as a guy, um, the big, the big question is, are you going bald? What should you do about it when you go bald? And, you know, I've been seeing a lot of, a lot of, you know, vid YouTube videos that are, that are advertising Roman or, uh, keeps keeps another one too um they're very much the very much what they're trying to do is this idea that you know if you start seeing your hair going you have to take care of it before you have to take care of it before like while like when you see that's happening that's when you have to start because once it's gone it's gone so that's where you can take some pills i think propecia is one of them uh you can start doing rogaine and stuff like that do that so that's kind of the idea though so when you lose your hair and i just see so many guys are just like ah, i just you just gave up and shaved their head you know it's like you just gave up that quickly you didn't want to go out fighting i mean like i don't know i like having hair so it's such a great it's a great thing for me to have hair but some guys are just like well just lazy and i'm like those guys like in propecia you know loads your sex drive which some women probably would really like it you only have one to like not like one time a day maybe some guys are like three four times so bald guys are just perfect so that's just just life as it is um but you know but also here if you're if you're thinking about like you know getting a hair transplant or just accepting being bald or whatever um just know from what i learned women don't care <laughs> most women don't care they don't mind if you're bald or not the the problem is like how you what you do about it like if you take care of what you got you know um uh, you know you don't gotta like you know like have a comb over or whatever that makes it look bad like try to cover it up in weird ways those are like those are those ideas is like the probably the bad thing to do and you definitely don't want to do that but um you know stuff like that so you just kind of have to you know accept it be good about it you know um maybe if you, if you have the sides do like the do like a very well put together George Costanza or whatever. I don't know. I don't know the best. I don't know the best uh, bald person out there. I would say George Costanza is my favorite bald person. Um. So yeah, that's that's another big thought. One thing though with the hair transplants. Here's the thing though. If you're worried about people making fun of you for getting a hair transplant, just know people are gonna make fun of you for being bald. So either be insecure and bald or feel more secure in yourself and get made fun of for having the hair transplant. That's the real advice I give people on that. And I'm also trying to get a friend to, you know, also get a hair transplant. Cause I just want to see the process, to be honest with you. Um, I know like you're going to have some hat days for a very long time, but once it all comes in, like I've seen some like really good, like Elon Musk, LeBron James, you know, they've had hair transplants. I don't think it's a big deal. You know, it's like, and that's what I always tell my friends. You're either going to get made fun of for being bald or you're going to get made fun of for getting a hair transplant. Like, you're going to get made fun of either way. So, you know, do what makes you the most comfortable. Do what makes you happy. And you know what? Who gives a fuck? You know, uh, you know, like, and that's the thing, though. Like, I'm getting to a point where, like, we're, we're shaming people who get, like, plastic surgery or hair transplants or any other type of surgery, you know? It's just kind of like who cares at this point, you know, just like whatever makes you feel better. Don't do it for other people. That's, that's the best thing advice I can give you. Don't get a hair transplant for other people. Get it for yourself. Don't get it to try to impress someone else. Get it to make you feel better about yourself because that's definitely something I would say not to do because if you try to do it to like impress someone else or to make someone else like you more, uh, then you're definitely in a wrong spot and you're definitely kind of missing the point. Like you gotta, you gotta like, the way you look first and then other people can like you. That's the thing. You always got to think about yourself. That's, that's the lesson here on an episode 69. Nice. Of cancel Sweezy. Um, only do things for yourself. Don't do it for anyone else. And, uh, I think you just only do things for yourself. That's the life lesson. Only do things for yourself. Um, something we should all strive to live by. So yeah, get that hair transplant. I don't give a fuck. Hey, you just finished one of the many, many highlights from Cancel Sweezy. We got plenty more on the channel, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, and if you like what you just watched, go ahead and uh, smash that like button as well. Go subscribe for more so uh, we can teach you how to be a better human in our world. So, uh, yeah, stay awesome.